Yo, what is up guys, it's Mike Jungle here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 8 of my Gothic 2 Path Belial playthrough, The Valley of the Mines. Now, the original intent was to get to Claw Belial first, which is in Jarkandar, but um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna make me a bit overpowered, as well as the fact that I want to get the claw as high as possible before I will actually retrieve it and the maximum level that I require is about level 48. The max level of the claw is about 24 and every two levels of the character you can upgrade the claw one time but if you uh, let's say are a level 48 and you retrieve the claw and activate it at that specific moment as soon as you're level 84 uh, 84 48 <laughs> you will have instantly without the need to sacrifice HP etc the maxed out claw barrier however I'm not 100% sure about this I'm gonna check it out and therefore I need to do a bit more of questing and kill a couple of more critters because at the current moment I am <coughs> nearly 50% away from level 48. But you know where I get- Are you sure you want to go in there? I'm afraid you won't get very far. The orcs are on the other side. If there's a way into the Valley of Mines, I shall find it. Good, then go. Go within us. The closer I get to 48, you know, the better. But it really doesn't matter whether I do instantly get 48 and then then I will activate claw You know as soon as I retrieve it, I will activate it But uh, upgrading it will require HP which is fine, you know But uh, I, I prefer to avoid that by getting my character as high as possible before I do have to get the claw which is in chapter 3 um, in order to be able to enter chapter 4, I need to complete Jarkandar, get the, you know, um, Claw Baliar, uh, solve the whole problem there, so Mixair comes into Karinus so that Vatus can, you know, repair the eye. So without further ado, guys, let's go into the valley. Nothing to plunder, nothing to be had there. So off we go.
Now I don't think I will be able to handle orcs yet. But uh, I'm gonna give it a try nevertheless. Bilgit and Diego to get past those orcs. Because I need to get that letter session before I will depart. To back to the city of Corinna so I can instantly complete Diego's quest by giving him his uh, 2,000 pieces of gold. Besides, already had done that two times or something. So I don't really need that cutscene. But getting Bilgit and Diego out of this area without the capability of handling orcs is going to be tough. Oh shit! Snapper. Sure, you spooked me. What are you standing around here for? I come from the castle. They sent me to look for those missing, and to check out the area. Those missing? Some fled when the dragons attacked. Most of them didn't make it. No surprise there. But if there are any survivors left, I'll bring them back. Can you help me get into the castle? Sure. But you have to do me a favor. If you can make it to the castle, talk to the paladin Auric. Tell him that his brother bought it up there at the pass. 
How can I get into the castle? First of all, you can forget the direct path. But if you walk around the castle, you might have a chance from the back. You should stay away from the paths and use the river. It will be best if you swim downstream for a stretch. It should be easier from there. The orcs have set up a ram behind the castle. You can get in that way. Creep up on the orcs as closely as you can, and then run for it. You might just make it if you're fast enough. Yeah, well, perhaps. What do I need to know about this area? If you want to live, go back to wherever you came from. The Greenhides have laid siege to the castle for weeks now, and those dragons are hiding out somewhere too. The entire Valley of Mines is teeming with orcs. No matter where you're headed, this won't be a picnic. Yeah, well, life ain't a picnic either. of a difference. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had Nothing there. there. Nothing there.
แน่เลยขาดของThe plunder. Those arcs are damn tough. I knew it. I knew that someone would succeed. 
Have you come over the pass? Our messenger managed to get through then. No, your messenger didn't make it across the pass. I have come by order of Lord Hagen. The cursed orcs. Well, Commander Garand will certainly want to speak to you. You'll find him in the large building guarded by two knights. Where can I find gear here? Tandor hands out the weapons. Angor, the steward, is responsible for everything else. What about magic supplies? We are equipped with spell scrolls. If you want some of them, let me know. Who can teach me something here? Talk to Milton. He's the only magician here. Show me your spell scrolls. I'm gonna show the crossbow and the bow. Because, you know, I don't really need them. Although, mm, I'll keep them for now. You have plenty of other junk to show though. Sure. Ooh. Me likey that amulet. gonna take a bit of time guys, I have to sell some of my junk, but uh, once that is done, I can continue. Strength and dex capabilities, minimum requirements has been reached. You train Which people? Yeah, once those orcs are even worse, the dragons attack again. Every single hand will be needed. Because uh, that pretty much means that all the permanent potions will be permanent mana. Sure, I still need a bit of dex here and there. But uh, I will invest some learning points instead. I need about at least 120 decks and preferably about 120 plus strength. Can you train me too? Sure. I'll train any good man. But besides your talent, you need a good weapon if you want to survive here. Ask the Knight Tandor. He'll take care of you. What about long range combat? What about it? Can you teach me that too? No, but you can ask Udar. He's a good... No, he's the best crossbow man I know. I want to train. You're demanding more than I can teach you. You're demanding... You're very good. There's nothing more I can teach you. Only a trained swordmaster can help you now. Okay, thanks. Wait, let me talk with the sentinel up here. Hey! You were damn lucky when you came in. I very nearly shot you. 
Then I guess I should be glad that you have such keen eyesight. Save your breath. Talk to Sengrath if you want something. Hey, you! I heard that you are the best crossbowman far and wide. If they say so, it must be true. What do you want? I am the greatest. <laughs> You're all right. Well, if you want to learn, then I'll help you. How are things in the castle? A few of the boys are practicing, but in principle, we're all just waiting for something to happen. This uncertainty is wearing us down. That's the strategy of those blasted orcs. They'll wait until our nerves are shot. All right, so let's see what kind of weapons Tandor has to you offer. You came over the pass? Well done. We have already lost a lot of men out there. I know myself what it's like out there. I accompanied a reconnaissance unit for a while. Do you have a weapon? If you need a good weapon, I'm your man. What became of the unit? We scouted the area and wanted to advance to the coast. We set up our camp in a cave. It was late at night when the orcs came. They charged us up the slope with torches and drums and discovered us. We tried to flee, but I was the only one who got through. Soon after that, the orcs erected their big palisade, and we pulled back into the castle. Show me your wares. A hundred and sixty, huh? I surely would like to carry those. Alright, so let's quickly talk with Milton. And don't forget to take the teleporter stone of the castle with you. Happens to me quite often that I forget it. But not this time though. Look who has returned, our hero from the barrier. Do I know you? You've been through a lot, huh? Do you remember Gorn, Diego, and Lester? Those names don't ring a bell at all. You have forgotten a great deal, haven't you? Well, let's leave the past in peace and devote ourselves to the here and now, even if there isn't anything pleasant to report. So what is there to report? The paladins came here with the intention of getting the magic ore. But with the dragon attacks and the orcs, I can't imagine the paladins will march out of here with the ore. No, Bayanos. I feel the presence of something dark, something evil growing here. Something that emanates from this valley. We paid a high price for the annihilation of the sleeper. The destruction of the barrier has ruined this place as well. We can all count ourselves lucky if we survive this. How much ore have you stored away so far? How much ore? Not one chest. We haven't had contact with the scrapers for some time. It wouldn't amaze me if they were all long dead. We are being attacked by dragons and besieged by orcs. This expedition is a complete disaster. Can you teach me something? I can instruct you in some magic from the second circle of magic, or I can help you to increase your magic power. If you feel ready to increase your power, then I can instruct you. I want to learn some new spells. Don't want any of those. What is your task here? Originally, I was supposed to assay the magic ore. But we haven't seen much of that so far. 
Now I'm concentrating on the study of alchemy. Can you teach me alchemy? That will be something useful. Hey, how are you? How do you think I'm doing? I spend the whole day at the grindstone sharpening blades. And yesterday, Engor shortened our rations again. If it goes on like this, we're all gonna starve. Or we'll all be killed by orcs. Not a pleasant prospect. Who is Engor? Engor manages the provisions and shares out the rations. And they get smaller every week. Sure, you can bargain with him. But only for cold, hard cash. And you can't afford that? The most I can get for the lousy pay we collect is a couple of turnips. What's up? That damned Angor should hand out more rations. Where can I find this Angor? In the Knight's house. Just go through the open entryway next to the smithy. What do you want? I know a thing or two about forging. Fine. So what? Can you teach me something? So you already know the basics. I can show you how to improve your work. Then you'll be in a position to make better weapons. Show me how I can forge a good sword. Make sure that the steel glows evenly all around, so that you get an even blade afterwards. If you keep that in mind, the blades you forge will be harder and sharper. This is all you need to know. If you're looking for steel here in the castle, talk to Engor. Can I use your smithy? I've got a lot to do. We'll only be in each other's way. Just wait until it gets dark. Then Parliff and I will hit the sack and you can work undisturbed. Could you make a weapon for me? I don't have time for that. Tandor hands out the weapons, I just make them. And Parliff sharpens them. How's work? I forge the weapons for the Castle Knights. Since we've been here, I've been fully occupied making new weapons. And we'll need them too. We'll show these damned orcs how sharp our blades are. Hey, Parliff, make those blades nice and sharp. Orcs are damn tough creatures. You're disturbing your sleep, man. Myself. What are you guarding? The prisoners. And who is that? A few convicts and the mercenary Gorn. A tough guy, strong as an ox. It took four men to bring him into custody. Can you let me into the dungeon? No, no one may enter the dungeon. That goes for everyone. For you, for Milton, and for everybody else. This isn't some tavern where you can go in and out as you please. Remember that. Can't you make an exception for me? No. I hardly know what to believe anymore. And what if I pay you gold? Hmm. No. I can't believe Don't you ever sleep? No. Inos himself grants me the strength never to need sleep. I wouldn't be so sure. Heard that one before. It's a bad business. Until I put a spell on his hand and took the hammer. You mustn't of believe Enos. everything you hear. Hey, you! 
What's your task here? My job? Training the lads. I teach them how to get muscles of steel. I also take care of the prisoners. I'm like a damn father to those bastards. But my real art is to get them to talk. And believe me, I have ways to make anyone talk. Sounds awfully nice. But those flea-infested blockheads we've currently locked up don't have much to say anyway. And they won't let me deal with that Gorn. Could you train me? Sure, I can help you become stronger. But I don't give anything away for free. How much do you want? Hmm. You run around outside the castle, don't you? Here's what I suggest. My assistant, Den, made himself scarce during the last attack. What a quitter. But he didn't run for it empty-handed. He took the contents of our cash box with him. What cash box? We have this chest where we keep the stuff we have, uh, um, collected over the course of time. And that was a tidy sum. The chest contained 200 gold pieces along with some precious jewelry. If you bring me back the gold, you can keep the jewels and I'll train you. Do you know where Den was headed? As far away from here as possible. I guess he might have tried to get through the pass. Thanks, that's very helpful. Well, what can I say? I have no idea where he went. I've got something for you. Excellent. I'll train you if you like. Anything new? Everything seems quiet. No new prisoners. Nobody who needs help finding the right words. Too bad. Hey, you! I want to become stronger. There is nothing else I can teach you. You have become too good. Hey! I want. That's all just gossip. I hardly know what to believe anymore. It's a bad business. But he knew that all along. That's been known a long time. But he knew that all along. With you completely. Stop! Who are you? The question where I come from is much more important. I came across the pass. So, are you going to stop me now, or can I go in? Well, I couldn't know that. Of course you're allowed in. Do you see any other fire mages beside Milton around here? Hmm? Indeed, me. Should have been proven enough that I came over the pass. Annoying shishing. Where do you come from? You aren't one of the scrapers and you aren't one of my people. Well? I've come across the pass. Over the pass? You actually got through? By Inos. Why have you taken this path upon yourself, magician? I don't know why he gets so worked up. I come from Lord Hagen. He wants me to bring him proof of the presence of the dragons. And you've just come here to get it and, and disappear again? Well, that's what I had in mind. So he wants proof. He can have it. But I can't send you back to Lord Hagen without giving him information about the ore. Listen, Lord Hagen absolutely must learn what the situation is here, and how much ore we've mined up to now. All right. What do you want me to do for you? I've got three units of scrapers out there, but they haven't sent me a single nugget. Visit the mining sites and report back to me how much ore they have stored. Then I'll write you a letter that you are going to take back to Lord Hagen. Oh, well, I guess I have no choice. But why me, of all people? Because you know a way to get through the lines of orcs. My boys would be hopelessly lost out there. You, on the other hand, have managed to get through once already. That makes you the best man for this job. I need some equipment. Talk to the magician Milton here in the castle. He knows about the things you'll need. Where can I find the mining sites? Here, take this map. 
It shows the two areas where the mining sites are located. If you have any more questions, ask Parsival. He can tell you all you need to know about the scrapers. How's the situation? You should set out to find the mining sites. I'm desperate for news about the status of the ore production. The ore production. That. Really stupidity. What's your task? I'm a strategic officer of the king, and I currently answer to the Honorable Commander Garand. We are the last of the paladins here in the castle. All the others have left or fallen. It is now our responsibility to bring a good end to this expedition, and that we shall do. By Enos, that we shall do. I am to go to the mining sites. This isn't going to be child's play. Beware. First of all, seek out the paladins. They are leading the three groups. If you want to know more about it, speak to Parsival. I have a message for you. What is it? Your brother is dead. He got as far as the pass. My brother? Enos put me to a severe test, but he died as his servant. This news is like an arrow which pierces my heart. I shall seek new strength in prayer. How's the situation? You need to find all scrapers, plus the ore. Then we will figure out how we can leave this valley. What can you tell me about the Scrapers? I assembled the three groups. Marcos, Fajeth, and Silvestro are the paladins who each lead a group. Marcos's group set out in the direction of an old mine, led by an old digger named Grimes. The other two groups set out together. Jürgen, one of our scouts, has reported that they set up camp near a large tower. Sardis's old tower. Okay. That's uh, a start. How's the situation? The camp is surrounded by orcs. They've really dug themselves in, but even more alarming are the attacks by the dragons. They have destroyed the entire outer ring by now. Another dragon attack, and we'll take heavy losses. How many dragons are there? We don't know how many there are all in all, but it's more than one. But that is in all. The whole Valley of Mines is full of evil creatures that support the dragons. Let's not kid ourselves. Without reinforcements from outside, our chances of getting out of here alive are slim. And sitting around doing nothing will make it only... Stimulate. Everything is still quiet. But that can change quickly. Do you know how to get to the mining sites? There's no safe way into that valley. But it seems to make sense to me not to take the direct route. Keep away from the orcs and the woods. And may Innos protect you. No one must violate the divine order. Hmm. Why don't I get the dialogue to free Gorn? Why won't they listen to me? I'm in enough trouble as it is. He would have never thought of that himself. Hey! Let's go and free Gorn. Well, the problem in this matter is that Gorn is a convicted prisoner. But if we're lucky, Garand will agree on a deal and we can buy his freedom. Yes, maybe. Keep me in the picture. Can you give me some equipment? Garand has asked me to go to the mining sites. Where am I supposed to get that? The only thing I can give you is a valuable rune stone. Could be useful at some point. Not now, though.
crap here. Um, alright, I'm going to love myself. I've heard a thing or two. Ah, so you're the guy who made it across the pass. Yes. Great. I'm Angor. I manage this expedition. Just don't get the idea that I give anything away for free. But if there's gold in your pockets, I'm always willing to cut a little deal. You're the one who deals out the rations or so I've heard. That's right. Why? Should I feed you now too? If there's anything you want, you'll pay for it. Just like everyone else. Maybe I can help you with your work. Hmm. Sure, why not? I could use some help. So, what needs to be done? Our food supplies are low. Above all, we're almost out of meat. So if you could get us some meat, raw or cooked, ham or sausages, that would be much appreciated. How about it? Will you help us? Don't worry, I'll get you some meat. About two dozen chunks of meat would help me feed quite a few hungry mouths. Come back when you have the meat. I need to get back to my work now. Here, I bought you something. Great, you brought enough meat. That'll do for a while. But don't get the idea that I'll give you anything for free now. Show me your wares. Later. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. I don't you know don't why he's so that. worked up. I wouldn't be I so sure. Knew that. I want you to let well, Gorn go. I, I can't let him go. He has committed many crimes and they must be atoned for. Can I pay his penalty? That Do might really be a possibility, think? but certainly not a cheap one. I want 1,000 gold Maybe pieces for Gorn. That's a lot of gold. Gorn also has much to answer for. Bring me the gold and I'll set Gorn free. I couldn't care less. I want to buy Gorn's freedom. Exactly then saying. bring me the 1,000 gold pieces. He really should have known better. I don't have to go. Oh dear. I'm not touching her. That's no secret. Do you really think my own is exactly what I said? I hardly know what nobody ever asked for, in my opinion. I wouldn't have done that. There have been all kinds of rumors. I wouldn't be so sure I really didn't deserve that. Do you really think? It can't go on like this forever. Oh, well, really true? I'll uh, get Milton's help and Diego's help then. That was obvious. Diego will give about 500, uh, no, not five, 300. Milton gives about two. And Gordon hey, you will give about two. So you only have to pay about three yourself. Garon wants 1,000 gold pieces for Gorn. A nice sum. I can chip in 250 gold pieces. I need more gold to buy Gorn's freedom. Getting more gold, hmm. Diego knows a lot about that, but he isn't here. Maybe Gorn has some gold hidden somewhere himself. We should find out. I'll write him a note. Here, try to smuggle it into the dungeon. It's a bad business. I'm not touching that. I already thought as much. Do you really believe that? I don't, don't want to hear cause that. more trouble. Well, at least I get this quest done, which uh, really didn't wasn't that. done on the other two paths. There have been all kinds of rumors. I have a note here for one of the prisoners. Can you pass it on? Hmm. In principle, I don't see why not. Who's this you message really for then? For Gorn. A very important prisoner. Don't I don't think Garand would agree to that. But if it's important to you, we can Why certainly come to an agreement. What do you want? Our food rations Where's are being reduced steadily. I want something decent to eat for a change. That's totally Get me a tasty sausage and a fresh loaf of bread. 
and some sweet honey. And a bottle of wine to go with it. Yeah, that should do. You should be able to manage that. So come back when you have the stuff. That's the first I've heard of it. I've got something for you. The food you wanted. You don't have come back when you have the stuff I want. So why won't they listen to me? I wouldn't have caused more trouble. Really, why get so worked up? Do you really think I miss the sausage? Let me let me buy Who's one at that angle. Business. I wouldn't have done that. But he knew that all along. It's a bad business. Hey. Show me your wares. Thank you. I already thought as much. I'm in enough trouble as it is. I never knew that. It's I better to watch out who you tell what. Nobody I've ever asked for me. I've got something for you. The food you wanted. I don't Good. Want Give me the grub. Do you have the message? Yes, here. Remember, yeah, it's for Gorn. Forever. Come back tomorrow. He'll have received the message Let's by wait then. Let's see what happens. Said. Very well. You didn't get that from me. And in the meantime, I'll go Do you really think? after the scrapers. I don't so why this won't they change. listen to me? I never knew that. I you don't have to ask me that. It can't go on like this forever. I can't believe that. In us enlightens all those who recognize his wisdom. I have my own opinion about that. Now, should you want to loot, you know, Gorn's stash without doing the letter quest and without waiting, it's in that building over there. This uh, collapsed one satchel is hidden inside, rather, you know, in the open, so hard to miss. I must admit in advance, it's gonna be tricky to get Bill Good and Diego across alive. But whatever it takes. Bill Good, it's not so important. Diego, however, is. So basically, at that particular moment, you know, if Diego dies, I die. Let me get those critters up there. Get a bit of extra XP along the way. Maybe they know the way. Nothing to be had there.
as you know, this probably, um, unless you didn't watch the other two parts, I'm taking a bit of a different tour route, not tour, but route, um, than normal, but uh, the outcome will remain the same. <laughs> So let's go to uh, Angor and uh, someone else. Okay. By the way, almost forgot. Um, this area is going to be most likely be split it into two, but uh, that is due to all the traveling around about, you know. But you know, every video eventually, of every playthrough of every game, will eventually have their timestamps. Nothing to be had there. So you know, it's hard to say that right now. You know. Especially when it's just uploaded, it will not have timestamps. But that's because I'm working on the Gothic 3 playthrough of the <laughs> Which of which, you know, I uh, should do more with when it comes to that. But I also need a uh, content. Lots of it, the more the better, I say. Halt! Stop right where you are. Uh, no problem. Really? Another lost little lamb, huh? First, I took you for one of those evil bastards or a haunt in the area. I can see you're probably not one of them. You look much too harmless. Hey! You look like a hunter who doesn't know what to do with his time. <laughs> yep, you got a point there. But what am I to do? I can't get back across the pass. So I'm just staying here doing what I do best. I'm sorry though for my pal Engram. Come close to my fire and warm yourself up. Are you a former prisoner of the barrier? No, no. What are you thinking? I actually meant to strike it rich out here. Someone from around here told me that these are the best hunting grounds there are. Rich pickings, if you know what I mean. The only thing that's to be had here since those orcs have shown up is a punch in the face if you venture out too far. And I let those idiots put a flea in my ear. I know those jokers. You seem to be doing all right, though. Oh, well, I guess I can't complain. In spite of those blasted orcs, the area is by the river the least dangerous. Looks like they don't dare go near the water. Mmm, just a coincidence, maybe. Why are you sorry for Engrom? Because he simply followed me without asking any questions. And now we've gotten ourselves into this mess. Greed doesn't pay after all. What are you hunting here by the river? What 
a question. Just take a stroll along the river and you'll know what I'm hunting here. Lurkers, of course. Those things aren't easy to catch, but they taste all the better for it. Once in a while, I stumble across a scavenger, too. I don't turn up my nose at those, either. I see. Hey! Can you teach me something about hunting? I see. So you've acquired a taste for it now. All right, but it'll cost you. What do you want for it? Would you happen to have anything to eat other than lurker meat? Maybe a hunk of cheese? Yeah, a hunk of cheese. I could die for a hunk. I'll see what I can do. Here's your cheese. Will you teach me now? Really? You got some? Oh, man. It's been ages since I ate something like that. Thank you. So now, uh, what about a lesson? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. What can you teach me? What do you want to know? Come back when you have more experience. Okay. How's it going? Crappy. Hmm. What else should I say? Nothing but up and down this damned river for days. Orcs lurking on the left, bandits hanging around on the right, and every day I eat lurker meat. I can't take it anymore. Ever considered getting out of here? Yeah, sure. No problem at all. First, I'll carve my way through the hordes of orcs, say hello to all the other monsters that are all over the place, and then I just stroll right across the pass. That would be quite a trick. I got in here, too. Are you trying to tell me you just came across the paths? More or less, yes. Then you got lucky. As long as things are so messed up around here, I'm not going to budge. How's the hunting? Hunting is my only consolation. But I'd like to see a target once in a while, other than these disgusting lurkers. Nothing there. Alright, so let's go to the first mining site. Well... Person with the ore has run away. We killed it there. Well, let me kill these critters here before that explode. <laughs> Who goes there? You haven't come to send me back into the ore mines, have you? I'll have to disappoint you then. There's no way I'm going back. You're a convict on the lamb, right? How perceptive of you. Why else would I have crawled into this filthy hole? That roast smells good. Don't touch! What's wrong with you? You have to ask that? Just look around you. These damn lurkers have spread across the entire river since I've come here. First, there are only two. Since yesterday, 
I've counted five at least. No idea how I'm ever going to get out of here. Have you tried getting through to the pass? Do I look insane to you? Twenty soldiers couldn't drag me out of here as long as those beasts are out there. I despise those things. I only have to smell them, and I break out in a cold sweat. And their constant gurgling makes the blood freeze in my veins. If you're that eager to have them skin you alive, go right ahead. What would you give me if I killed the things? Hmm. Well, it would be enough if those lurkers in front of the cave would disappear. I found a blank rune stone. Since you're a magician, I'm sure you can make use of it. I would give it to you in exchange. Consider it done. The lurkers in front of the cave are gone. Great. Now I can breathe again at last. Here's what I promised you. Will you cross the pass now? Forget it, man. If they catch me, they'll take me back to the mines. I'm staying put. All right, your choice. But the rune stone was definitely a good reward. So much for you, filthy beast. Three. However, like I said earlier, the uh, ore scrape chest is not here anymore. Nor is the one that has the information on how, you know, how many crates they have. Which is uh, the guy at Cavalon's old hut in Gothic One. We will go there in just a bit.
Hey, you. Who would have thought we'd see each other again? So, it looks like we both know how to stay alive. And as you can see, I've stuck with prospecting. How much ore have you already mined? A few chests. But there's nothing of that left here. Pallet and Marcos decided to take the ore to the castle because we were constantly being attacked by orcs. Don't you want to leave the valley? Nah, I'll keep mining ore. I'm not gonna let a few orcs stop me. I've been through a lot more than that. Back then, when we were digging in the old mine, and suddenly the water broke through? Ah, but those are old stories. How's your work? You know, this rock is damn stubborn. Almost like it was trying to prevent us from taking the ore. Do you know which way Marcos went? He didn't take the direct route. Instead, he wanted to cross the river where it was frozen. He wanted to cut around and approach the castle from the west. I see. Thanks. One less monster around. For you, filthy beast. All right, so much for you, filthy beast. Nothing to plunder, nothing to plunder. You're in for it now. 
I thought there were more burners here. Oh well. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. One second guys, let me get something to drink something real fast. Um, about one minute or so, be right back.
not out of back, sorry about that. But if a man is thirsty, he needs to drink. Or she. <laughs> Lord, that go well. Oh, Paladin. One less monster around. Boy, don't you regret this. Come in the side. Don't you ever dare attack me again! Still got my gold. I need it to free. Um, where are you going? All right. Send those so much for you, Kingdom filthy come. beast. If you're gonna go that way, so you're gonna die. You know that, right? Halt in the name of Inos. I am Mokos, Paladin of the King. Say what you want and speak the truth. A chosen of Inos always speaks the truth. Forgive me, Reverend Magician. I did not realize with whom I was speaking. Yes, all right, never mind. If I am permitted to ask, what brings you to this area? I'm worried about Angrom. I cannot let him die, not yet. He's really gonna walk all the way there, he's such an idiot. So I'm gonna walk around out of uh, sight a bit, you know, so that uh, he gets spawned over there. And not get killed by an army of orcs. I come from Garand. He needs to know how much ore is ready for transport. Tell Garon that I had to leave the mining site because the orc attacks became too intense. I tried to reach the castle with a few people, but I am the only survivor. I have stored the ore safely. There are four chests. Go to Garon and report that to him. Tell him I will guard the ore with my life, but I don't know how long it will be before the orcs find me here. Tell him to send me some support. I'll let him know. Right, so that's one of the three scrapers. Anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the end of part one of the Valley of Mines and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in part two and uh, if you like what you see feel free to thumbs it up in order to unlock hardcore run of the gothic series and make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload publicly a video. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in part 2.